Now, you may or may not know that at Adobe Max on the 20th of October, the new version of Photoshop was released, the 2021 version. And amongst those kind of headlining features and updates was something called Pattern Preview. Not an incredibly inspiring name, but I have to say in the days after Max, since I've been trying it, I have been wholly impressed with this. Not least because it's a great example of a new feature that its greatest strength is its sheer simplicity. It just works and it does a great job. So let me just first of all show you how we used to make patterns in the old school way in Photoshop. Now that started by creating a rectangular marquee selection around the parts of your artwork that you wanted to be included in that pattern. It had to be rectangular. Or you create your artwork as I have here in a square ratio canvas. And my canvas here is 2000 pixels wide by 2000 tall. So if it's square ratio canvas, you could just go straight up to edit without a selection in place and you can choose define pattern. I'll do that. I'm going to call this old school and add that to my patterns panel over here. Now, if I hide my original artwork, which is a bunch of groups within groups, they're all just vector shape layers. I'm going to hide those and drag and drop that onto the canvas to create a pattern layer. Well, at first, you know, that seems fine. But the more eagle eyed of you will notice that there are some glaring issues in here. If this is a truly seamless pattern, then where these elements like the purple circle here disappear from one side, then they should really uh, overlap on the opposite side. That would give us a seamless tile. Now we'll see this even more if I scale this down in size. So here we go. We now have a really clear and very bad seam in this pattern in here. The tricky bit was in the old school way was getting rid of those seams. You'd have to duplicate shapes to the opposite side and, and do all of this manually. And it was incredibly tedious. So if I click cancel inside of there, and if I delete that pattern layer, I'm going to delete the, the, the actual pattern as well, because it's rubbish. And then I'm going to turn on the visibility for my artwork now. So if I go to the view menu and then choose pattern preview, that is the actual new addition in there, pattern preview. The dialog box will tell us in here that um, we should ideally, when we're making patterns and using pattern preview to use smart objects. So what it's really talking about is protecting your pixel based content. Those raster layers that might have pixels inside of them, turn those individual components into smart objects, because as you probably found, as you scale, rotate, all those other transforms have a destructive effect onto standard pixel based layers. If you convert them into a smart object, it protects them. So that's what it's talking about. It is not talking about turning your entire artwork into a smart object because you will not get the results you want from a seamless pattern doing it that way. So I'm leaving all my artwork as it is. They are all shape layers, so I don't have to worry about it. If I click OK, it then takes you into pattern preview mode and then take a look at what it does. So over here where my circle finishes and this is the blue tile around the outside for my original artwork as that leaves the tile. This is the portion obviously that wouldn't have been included and wasn't in the old school way of doing it. It's now been added at the opposite side. So anything that runs off the edge of your original canvas or your pattern tile in here, Photoshop does all the work for you. This is incredibly simple and efficient. The thing that you have to do is don't exit from this view. Don't look at this and think, oh, this is great. Yeah, I'll make a pattern from it. You have to make the pattern whilst you're in this preview mode. So if I go to my patterns panel in here, click on the plus to create that pattern. I'm going to call this new style. Or you could go back to the edit menu and you could choose define pattern. Either way, same end result. When I'm done, go back out here to view and then turn off pattern preview. I'll then hide my original artwork, drag and drop this on in here, and then you'll see that those elements that disappear on the right hand side of the canvas, like the purple circle, those elements are repeated on the left hand side. And that goes for anything that runs off the edge. That's been done for us. If I go and scrutinize this further by double left clicking on the pattern swatch, I can go to the scale and scale this down in size. And you'll see there, it just tiles seamlessly. It just works so well. Again, because of the flexibility of this, I can change the angle and modify this whenever I need to but it just works. That is what I like about this. Click OK. 
So that's how you create new style patterns with the uninteresting name of pattern preview, but which is so highly effective. As always, folks, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, then if you want to learn more wildly interesting tips, you can click on subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications every time we post on this channel, which is weekly, usually on a Wednesday. And uh, until next time, folks, farewell.